Now this is what a wild dog bite on the beast looks like. He would have been bitten while he was a calf. Now that he's grown up, you can see where he was bitten. Just up there above his tail, just in there. There's a bit of a divot there, and also in the back leg, just there, where they've taken a chunk out of him. Now when we send that beast to the works, they'll take that whole section out and we'll get nothing for it. Neither did I. Yeah, he's going from the grass. Oh. Which way in the grass? Going to left. He just stopped behind a bit of a bush. See him in there. You can. Uh, I've zoomed in there. <laughs> You'll have to find him in the footage later. Did they get him? I don't know. I can't see. There's nothing running anywhere. I'll go up there and have a look. Have to go and have a look. Spotting Ben. Hold it, dingo bitch. I think it's been one I've been seeing around a bit lately. But there you go, this good old 223 and a Riga Ranch. Marvellous little gun. Always easy to carry around with you. Uh, just whip it out and shoot something quick like that when you need to. Anyway, it's been a pack about four getting around, I think. Four or five, I'm not 100% sure whether this is one of them, the others have been way over the other end of the place, so anyway, keep going and got a heap of cattle work to do today, we'll get into it. Just going to get all these calves up here and put some tags in their ears and then go through, we've pulled them off the cows last night so they, they, they can bag up in their udders so we can go through and cull for age and any other faults in the cows. So, kill a couple of birds with one stone. Try and push these up and put some tags in the ears.
Last. Where you go? You go and find your way back now. Calves are all thirsty, hungry. They haven't had a suck since last night, or since yesterday afternoon, probably. This is a. Classic case of cancer eye, which therapists, uh, therapists can get to get cancer in their eye. You see that their eye is just all rotted out. Uh, it's a terrible way to go. We've let her air a car for now. We have to put her down, unfortunately. But she's been a pretty good cow. Anyway, it's just one other thing we have to do. We dragged her up here and cut her open a bit, and we've put it in front of the camera and so hopefully we might be able to get some pigs or dogs coming in so I can show them so got a, quite a nice spot here in a bit of a uh, area should be able to stalk up especially if the wind's blowing that way should be able to get up here to get a shot off if, we, if we're lucky you won't see how we go I've given this light bar a real test out We've been out mustering in hard, rough stuff, and it hasn't even moved. It just sat there. These magnets on here are really, really good. So, thanks to Eagle Eye Hunting Gear and we're sending the light out, it's been, it holds on there really, really good, and it's pretty good to use too.